Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase your FPS and get better performance in Force Green Waves dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings. And for that, search for settings on your PC. Once you're here, go down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to gain extra FPS. Then go back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will help you to reduce the applications running in the background, allowing you to get extra FPS as well. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU for rendering the game as well as reducing your input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then click on this browse button. Now go to the install location of your game. Once you find your game, select the exe file right over here, click on the add button, go over to options and then select high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that, open up your file explorer and then go to the download location of your game. Once you're in this folder, open up the Withering Waves game and then right click on this file, go over to properties and then go to compatibility, then click on disable full screen optimization, click on change high DPI settings and then select this option, go to ok, apply and ok. Step number three is disabling all unwanted services on your PC and for that type in msconfig and then Go to the services section, select hide all Microsoft service and then disable all unwanted and unnecessary services such as RGB, fan control, screen sharing services, browser update services which are not required on your PC. It will help you to save a lot of CPU usage. Then click on OK. Next step is reanimating your windows and this is super simple. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, select adjust for best performance and then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show window contents while dragging. This will help you to minimize the look of your windows by disabling unwanted animations, ultimately giving you better FPS. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC games game gift cards and genuine windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. The next step is right under the advanced settings in the performance option itself that is the virtual memory. Click on the change button, deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives and then click on the custom size. Set this thing to 1361 as it is a little bit over 1 GB and it is the most optimal value. Then open up your system information on the PC and then look at the installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Pull out your calculator really quick and then multiply 32 with 1024 to get your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Once that is done simply click on OK and then click on apply and this is how you set your virtual memory optimally for playing the games. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, ping, latency and input delay using exit lag. You can find a link to it down in the description below. Exit lag is pro choice to get rid of all of your internet issues. You can simply find a list of over 1000 games to choose from. Simply look up for Wuthering Waves right over here. Then select the nearest game region to you. 
For me, it will be Singapore 01 and it will show you the estimated ping that we will get in the game. Simply click on apply routes and it will one click optimize this game. Exit lag helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance that ultimately gives you better FPS, input latency, ping and so much more. The best part about this application is the tool section over here which offers you a dedicated FPS boost in which if you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option it will give you the best FPS possible in the game. Once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it. But if you are my subscriber and you click the link down in the description below, you can get a 2 plus 1 month free on your first subscription. So make sure to go check out exit lag, links are down in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Search for create a restore point on your PC, then scroll down to find your local disk C, click on create and name it Wolverine Waves. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on OK and then click on OK. Next step is the Wolverine Waves FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open it up and then you can find in five simple folders. First one is the CPU priority. Simply double click and open this thing up and you'll find Intel and AMD CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. After that, open up the second folder, which is the RAM optimization in which you'll find a lot of presets for your memory. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to double click and run the 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you, so you can select it from this list. Once again, if you do not like it, you can always reset it back to default. Third one is the Wuthering Waves priority. Simply double click and open this thing up and you'll find in three simple files. Simply comment your PC specs down below and I'll be replying to you which one to choose from this priority. Next is the unwanted services. Over here simply double click and run all of these registries and it will help you to disable Bluetooth, core parking, downloading maps, extra unnecessary services and so much more to help you increase your PC's performance. Once again if you want to enable anything back you can use this folder to enable them back. Last is the programs folder in which I have MSI Utility V3. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, find your GPU over here, select the MSI button in front of it and then for the intropriety, set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will set your GPU affinity to a higher state to be utilized in the game. Next is the NPARC CPU, double click to open this thing up as well. Once it opens up, make sure to slide this core parking index all the way to 100% and it will make sure that all of the cores of your CPU is being used while you play the game. Once that is done, simply close the FPS pack and drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright guys, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Then scroll down to graphics and then for the graphic quality set this thing to low, screen mode should always be full screen and then for the frame rate set this thing to 60 fps, shadow quality low, special effects quality low, LOD bias low, capsule AO turn this thing off, volumetric fog and lightning should be turned off, motion blur should also be turned off, Nvidia DLSS turn this thing on and the super resolution set this thing to performance. Sharpening should be set to 0.6, anti-aliasing should be by default on, V-Sync turn this thing off and Nvidia Reflex set this thing to on plus boost. Once that is done, close your settings and now drop into the game for the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave like and smash the subscribe button as it really helps me out. Also, we are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your support would be appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Fox, and peace out.